You know, it seems that every day we hear about a new wonder of the digital age, and we might start to wonder, is there anything that computers can't do? Well, not to worry. In tonight's travels, Charlie points out a relatively common old technology that will never truly be replaced by a computer. There are fewer people having acoustic pianos like this. With the acoustic piano, the room is a sound chamber. Harry Gray of Salisbury is a brilliant piano player. The trend seems to be a lot toward um, digital instruments. With the digital, the speakers are where the sound comes from. And like I say, they, they can replicate, but it's hard to duplicate that bass. He's also a brilliant piano tuner. Now, it's in tune. There's no wah, 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 because I tune this one three, four times a year to keep it fairly much on. I'm just going to take that out. You, you'll hear this. That fast quiver. Sure. Okay, that's the difference in the beat cycle. It's going to slow down as I go up. You're getting much slower. And how many strings? 225. It's 165 pounds per string. I'm 225. It's 18 and a half tons of pressure. You know, the digital age is a real wonder, but there are things that computers simply cannot do, like simulating 12,000 individual parts working together to produce sounds that are as gentle as whispers and as loud as thunder. What an acoustic piano can do that no computer could ever do is to remind us in our hearts of what it means to be human. In Salisbury, this is Charles Paparella for WBOC News. That's inside Trinity United Methodist Church in downtown Salisbury, of which I'm proud to be a member. And Harry Gray, very talented man. Good to see you on the air, Harry, here at WBOC.